Happy Tuesday traders, I'm Shlomo Cooper and we are with a quick video to give you every piece of information you need to have ahead of the opening bell today. Now make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video as I'm going to show you my trading plan for Netflix, NFLX today who posted its earnings after the closing bell yesterday. Okay. US stocks hit another record highs on Monday in the never-ending bull cycle. The SPY opened the day strong with a gap up, but without enough force to drive it higher, the stock market faded the gap. Now, as I showed you in our previous videos, my traders aware of the phenomena I call fill and bounce. Once the SPY filled the gap, this is where the upset short traders have a great opportunity to run to the exit door without paying any toll, without being punished for their mistake. These are the short sellers who bet on Friday on a gap down on Monday. They suffered large pains at the beginning of the trading day when the market went one, 180 degrees opposite to their position. They were hoping it will go down, but once the market closed the gap, the big minus they had since the start of the day evaporated completely. And this is a great exit point for the short traders who cover their position and help the market to produce this bounce to the upside. Now, this is the hammer formation I used on a five minutes chart to ride on this wave with about 40 cents per share till the end of the day in profits on that play. I nailed that one, not bad. At the end of the day, the pattern continues in Wall Street and the indices hit record highs, but the gains were small and volatility was nowhere to be found. Take a look on Apple. Apple opened higher and after a boom bar, this is how I call this magnitude bar at the start of the day. It left no question about its direction. Now, you have to know that in almost 90% of the time, after you have this kind of boom bar, a stock will continue in that direction. Put Apple on your screens every day. It's a great stock to trade and thousands of professional day traders are executing their entire action on this stock alone. But even if Apple is not your cup of tea, it's like, as I often call it, as I often call Apple, time machine, time machine. Usually when you see Apple trading upwards and the market is going the other way, it's just a matter of time before the market will reverse to the upside and follow suit and follow Apple. The most notable speculation action yesterday was found in the Chinese stocks Baidu, Beta, YRD, they all sprinted higher. Part of my traders used our call on YY in our trading report, another big Chinese name, and took it over $94. Now, this was the technical point on the daily chart. Just take a look with me what a nice cap formation it produced in the last three weeks or so. So that trade gave them more than $3 per share. Great trade. Our traders just love this trading report. Another stock from our trading report I traded yesterday was PCG. Now, as you can see, this is the one of the stocks in the momentum down list in our report, meaning it's under heavy selling pressure lately. Actually, taking a look on the daily chart with me, the stock is bleeding and went all the way from just below $70 to $50 in three days. Oh my God. Anyway, I, explo I exploited this heavy selling and opened the short position on this one under the first boom bar on a five minutes chart. Now, you already know what it is. This is the bear version of the boom bar, huge bar, much larger than most of the bars to the left with almost no tails. The third bar of the day took me into this great journey, great dive 
a nose dive for the stock with about five dollars uh, in profits per share. Definitely, it was my trade of the day yesterday. It's the most precious time in Wall Street as we start the earnings season. Already this week, we are going to have around 150 companies which are set to deliver their earnings. And for professional traders, this period of about six weeks we designate as the earnings season when about 90% of all the companies in Wall Street are opening their books in front of investors is nothing less than celebration which produces great trading opportunities day in day out now netflix posted its earnings yesterday it was the first uh, big technology um, company to deliver its earnings it was after the closing bell i showed you yesterday in our investors club taking place every monday eight o'clock eastern time that netflix has a strong tendency to beat EPS expectations. Actually, this film beats Wall Street expectations in 87% of the time. It's also by far the most volatile stock in the S&P 500 in reaction to its report. It went up yesterday after the closing bell by about 2%, but I suspect the stock may become today a victim to the sell the news reaction. As I told my traders yesterday in the Investors Club, more than 10 analysts raised their price target last week on the stock. And that is, you have to understand, a very rare occasion, especially when that comes ahead of earnings. So I suspect much of the good things are already baked into the stock price, especially after a rally of more than 65% year to date and crossing last Friday the $200 mark for the first time ever for that stock. The stock will have, I suspect, no other option but to go down today. I'll try to lurk exactly for that. We have more stocks in our hot stocks list, so just make sure you put them all in on your screens. Thank you all for watching. Have a great trading day and I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.